Hello, I'm Trey. Welcome to another My Colouring Tutorials. Uh, this is part three, working on a design from Nice Little Town 4. Um, the book is by Tanya Bogima Stolova. In this part, I'm going to be working on the water tank, uh, some of the metal work, and um, then see how far I get from there. And um, I'm going to be using the Castle R pencils for these parts. I tend to work on a limited palette. I found it um, better for me because because my projects weren't looking the way I wanted to when I wasn't um, doing that. I tend to use too many colours together and it looked too messy for me. So obviously that's a challenge. So if I'm using two sets of pencils like I am on this project, I can use the same colour in the other set of pencils Say for instance I've used orange and brown for the Marco Refine. I can use orange and brown in the Castle Art and it looked different. Or I can use similar, you know, shades of brown without actually work, moving out of my limited colour palette. So I've, I've decided to use browns uh, for the metal work. I thought it would be a nice complementary look and still contrasts nice with the blue. I'm going to start on the uh, water tank. Use my lightest colour, I'm going to uh, put that down first. I'm going to go around the shaded areas with the, my lightest colour. I don't want to darken those sections up too much. I'm going to be using a uh, very light pressure with these. Um, they are a student grade I end student grade, I feel, but still student grade, these Castle Art pencils. And um, I found on other projects, if I lean on too hard with the pressure, I really struggle to get enough layers down. They blend lovely, these pencils, are great vibrant colours. But if I'm not careful, I can't get a lot of layers down. So I'm having to be very light in my pressure. I'm going to use a, a medium brown and start working in the shaded sections. Now this medium brown is the lightest of the darker browns I'm going to be using so I'll make sure I cover all of the shaded sections with this colour. Now I've got a darker brown, but not the darkest brown I'm going to be using. I'm just going to go a little bit over the medium brown. 
and start from the edges. I'm trying for a gradient effect with the shading on this. And then I'll use my darkest brown to go along the edging of the shading area. Well, that's um, one layer of all the colours I'm going to be using on the water tank. Uh, needs one layer of each of those colours again, and then I'll see about blending. I've put down one layer of all of those uh, browns and the yellow again, and I'm going to see if I can do a slight light blend with cotton boat. Smooth that out a little bit. There is a little bit of shading on this side that are, that are actually the flowers so I haven't coloured those in. Um, I'll be doing those in a different colour. I'll get into the corners and the small areas with my blender pencil. Just light pressure so I'll put some more layers down. Need a few more layers for this. 
I still have to be careful with my pressure with these pencils. So hopefully I'll get one or two more layers down. Right, starting from my darkest uh, brown, I'm going to go back into the shaded areas now and put another layer each of the colours. Now smooth it out a little bit. And the next lightest brown for the shaded area just extend from the edges. And then over th all of that shady section with my medium brown, the uh, shading on this area I find is a little bit darker, so it's going to need a little bit more layers. And extend a little bit out from there. Then over the lighter areas again, I'll highlight, which is this is more of a, a dark yellow than a brown. I'm just going to overlap slightly as well with the shading.
I'm now going to do um, other metal work on this design. It's this section here, and again, just using the lightest colour in the lightest areas only, trying to keep the darkest as dark as I can. Gives more of a contrast when I'm doing metal. Um, because quite often I don't go dark enough and there's a section here it's down pipe it's one of the things I tend to find I don't uh, go very dark with my shading and I could do I mean I tend to use um, Contrast and colours to shade at times to darken things in. It looks more effective if I do that, but I'm always kind of wary of doing it very dark. I want to do this tub down here in the same colour. I'm going, going, I've decided it's going to be like a metal tub. It could be wooden, you know, it doesn't really matter, but. It will work in well with the other pieces. I'm also going to do these tubs in the same colour. I think that will work quite well. Over the shaded area with the medium brown. I'm going to have to put more shaded in this, I think, the pipe. I'm going to shade on one side, I think, for that. And inside there. And the little tub at the bottom.
I'd left that piece originally because I wasn't sure of what colour I was going to do in it. But I think I will do it in the yellowy highlight now. Um, I always get a little bit um, not so sure about in size of tubs. And I do shading. Right, I'm going to go over the a little bit away from the edges of the shaded areas and medium brown. A little bit more filly these sections, the smaller. Just put a little bit of a shading on those circles, not a lot, just to make them look slightly more interesting. Ah, forgot about this little tub here. And then with the darkest brown just around the edges of the shaded areas. There's so much detail in this design, I keep missing little bits. Um, your eye gets caught by all kinds of things, so I realise I haven't done the previous brown layer on this. Right, so I've got the first layer of all the colours for those sections. They need more, another layer of each, uh, to go down before I do my first blend. I put down uh, one more layer of each of the colours I'm working and the browns for the metal sections. 
and I also while I was doing that finished the blend on that uh, water tank and it works quite well that so now I'm going to do a light blend now with these smaller sections I uh, decided just to go over all of it with the lightest um, colour the yellowy colour the dark yellow because I was going into that area quite often anyway it's a little bit too small to be quite so precise so it'll look more yellow I think than the water tank and I also extended a little bit of the shading on the pipe it came out from the edge looks slightly more interesting I've not used these colours before for metal effect and they're quite nice it's almost like they look a bit brassy blends work quite well I, I'm just going to darken in the shading slightly and I think that will be fine for you know these sections medium just to darken up those shaded areas a bit more And I'm just darkening the slightly bits I think aren't quite highlighted enough. And that is those sections finished. Um, I like the different uh, tones of brown. I like the effect of that. It, it complements um, 
but still say staying within the color palette uh, now I'm not quite sure what else I'll do in this color um, I had considered doing the windows in the same color but I think I've changed my mind I think I'll do them differently um, so I'm just going to do the door I think the windows would look quite nice the similar color the same color as the roof um, I think it would work in better and these would stand out more so I'm just going to do the door in these browns and these wooden sections here I quite often do that I quite often change my mind of what's going to be what colour um, and I think I can only work that out when it's you know I've done part of the design and then I realise that possibly the colours I wanted to put together won't necessarily look as good as I thought or the balance wouldn't be quite right I'm not going to do the glass sections of the door at this point I'll leave those for next time because I'm not 100% sure what colour I want to do those yet going over all the shading with me lightest darkest brown Put one more layer of each of those colours down for those sections and I noticed this section here and I thought that it would look better in the browns. Um, 
I did it's the only bit and I could see that it was like that. I'm just going doing a light blend now. These pencils work nice with these blender pencils, which is good. I can get a reasonably smooth finish, even on this textured card. Right, um, door section. Just going to put some more of the lightest colour down, like the yellowy colour. And that's that sorted. Now I'm not going to finish off the, the glass this time. The door handle and the bell, um, I'll probably do the same colour but not the same as the door. So I'm going to do uh, other little sections next time. This is the end of this part of this tutorial. So it's part three, it's finished. And I will sit and think about what I'm going to do next time, possibly consider the windows and see what colours I'm going to do those in. So I hope people have found this uh, useful. Um, some hints and tips, uh, ideas of how to do this same design or something similar from the nice little town for book. So bye for now and I'll see you in the near future.